Welcome back. This is Rito here. We are doing a little bit of a different video today. I'm back on the Anna the Archer character. We're going to be showcasing some of the new stuff we received in Calamity 1.4.4. So I've got a quip right here, the Caustic Tear, which will toggle on the Acid Rain event in the Sulphur Sea. And I've got some Bloodworms, which are super awesome. They will summon a brand new boss. It is a new version of Duke Fishron that can be defeated after the Poltergeist. So let's head on over to the Sulphurous Sea. And here we go. Whoa, Acid Rain has already started. I didn't even toggle it on. So this is pretty sweet. We're just seeing a natural spawn of the Acid Rain event. So I'm gonna put on the Daemon Slain Bow because my current gear is way too powerful and it would just instantly destroy everything. We're gonna destroy everything pretty quickly with the Daemon's Flame Bow anyways. Ooh, here's a new boss. It's the Nuclear Terror. It's a mini boss. That looks pretty sweet. I wanna see what it does. So it charges, it'll jump. It seems to be shooting things. Yeah, shooting some like nuclear or radioactive projectiles. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Shoots like a cone of radioactive looking stuff and I think if you hit these droplets they'll damage you yep so this is pretty sweet so let's go ahead and kill this terror even with all my or tesla armor and accessories and everything it still takes a while to kill with a weapon that's from the tier that you would normally have because this is a weapon that you would get from the poltergeist and you would use before killing the devourer of gods right there i just found a caustic tear on the ground so apparently these raindrops when they hit the ground they have a chance to create caustic tears and the caustic tears are what you can use to manually summon this event so definitely run around everywhere and look on the ground for Caustic Tears because I already found one and this is a consumable. So what you want to do with this is you want to craft it into any permanent one right here that can toggle it whenever. And you do that by combining it with corroded fossils. So we need to pick up some corroded fossils. So I'm curious how we get those. I do love this event though, this is really cool. I'm going to switch to Contagion so we can just quickly farm up all these enemies and see if we can find some corroded fossils. Okay, we've got a Sulphurous Scale, which can be used to craft this new Sulphurous Armor. Lots of really cool stuff. Whoa. Those slimes shoot like a huge beam of energy up into the air. Ooh, ooh we got a, a little Sulphurous Sea yo-yo. That is a really cool effect for a yo-yo. I don't know what part of the game you'd get that in. It looks a little bit weak for uh, post Moon Lord, but we might be able to get that after Aquatic Scourge, because I know this event, it updates after Aquatic Scourge and after the Poltergeist, I believe. Ooh, we got a Toxic Cannon. Well, that's pretty sweet. And then we've got some of these corroded fossils, which you can get from pretty much any of these mobs. So if you just kill a bunch of mobs, you'll get your corroded fossils, and then you can combine them with the Caustic Tears, and you will get what you need for this event. One cool thing is that you can get these lead cores that you need for the Auric Tesla armor. And so you can just pick those up from this event, since you'll get plenty of them. Okay, so I just put on a Zerg potion so we can finish this event off real quick, and we can see what happens at the end of the event. Whoa, so many things are spawning. I love the look of these nuclear terrors. I just, I think they look so cool. And these beams that get shot from these slimes, it's all quite cool. Whoa, what is this? Is this the boss? What is going on? Yes, the old Duke has spawned. That's cool. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. We have a completely new boss. It's like a new Duke Fishron. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use this bow so we don't kill him just like instantly. Since this is the bow we would be using on him if we were doing this in a normal playthrough. We obviously wouldn't have a lot of the gear, you know, like the armor set and accessories we've got, but at least we can be a little bit more fair and use this bow. So he's doing some stuff that's similar to Duke Fisheron. He's got Duke Fisheron noises, but he looks like just really buffed. He shoots lots of big projectiles. He shoots those little spikes like from the Aquatic Scourge, and he's got urchins that follow you. So there's so many projectiles and the acid rain makes it hard to see them. So I really like this. It looks like it's a mix of Duke Fisheron. Whoa, what is that? That is so cool. I love this. These are like huge, <laughs> like black holes of like acid. I'm just taking my time with him because I want to kind of get a feel for all of his attacks. Okay, let's get him to the next phase. I'm really excited that they brought in another boss between the Poltergeist and the Devourer of Gods. I think this will be a, a good way to power up a little bit more before the Devourer of Gods because that boss is kind of notoriously pretty dang hard. I remember the first time I played Calamity, it, I got stuck on it for a while. Okay, we just hit the 50% mark. And this is in Revengeance mode, by the way. I'm sure he's got a few extra mechanics in the Death mode. So let's kind of watch and see what he does. So he's doing just kind of a normal dash. I'm not seeing any new attacks. He's still doing like the acid black holes. So let's take him down to his next form. I'll just shoot him with the contagion a couple times. Okay, now he's down to 12%. And let's see what he does here. Basically, I'm trying to test if he does the, yep, he does the dash that we all know and love. <laughs> the Duke Fishron invisible teleportation dash. That's pretty sweet. So for all you who love Duke Fishron or hate Duke Fishron, you're going to have to fight him again and he's going to be much harder this time. So let's go ahead and finish him off. I'll throw on some rage and take him out. There we go, we have defeated Duke Fishron, but this is the old Duke is his name. So I'm gonna put on auto pause and let's take a quick look at what we got. So this is an accessory. Oh my goodness, the sponge has changed sprites too. I didn't even notice that. Look, at the sponge looks way weird and different now. Very interesting, it like flashes a weird blue light. I didn't realize, that's kind of cool. So let's take off our community and let's put on this mutated truffle. Looks like it doesn't craft into anything. It looks like the mount for Duke Fishron, but it's a little accessory that fights for you. That's so cool. And let's also see what we got on the bottom of the Sulfurous Sea. Just see all the different items we got from this event. We've got, of course, this yo-yo that does cool effects, and it is called the Sulfurous Grabber. And we got from that entire event, we got one caustic tier. Ooh, we have a really cool spear. I feel like the Calamity mod needs a lot more spears, so I'm super excited that one of the drops from this event is a spear. And it looks pretty dang powerful. Looks like something you could definitely use on the Devourer of Gods. We have this septic skewer, which looks pretty awesome. It is a ranged weapon. It shoots and then it kind of like blows up into this like toxic cloud stuff. So definitely will be a good one to have. And I've got more of this flak toxic cannons. I've got a bunch of those actually. If you want to summon the boss without going through the whole acid rain event, you can actually use these blood worms. Just like how you summon fish run, with the truffle worms, you can use blood worms and a rod to summon, oh my gosh, did I just summon two of them? That's crazy. Oh, there's a old Duke lore piece that I missed up here. So we can take a look at that as well. 
Oh my gosh, I'm getting just like hit <laughs> like crazy. So we've got the old Duke lore piece now, and it says place in your inventory to convert negative effects from acid rain debuff to positive effects. That's really cool. So it's very specific to this event, but it's quite helpful. And let's take a look at what we got now. Open up these two treasure bags. Ooh, we got the rogue weapon. Let's see what it does against an enemy. So it's just a really powerful rogue weapon. That's really sweet. It's like a shotgun. We've got the fetid emesis. We can run back to the base and buy some bullets so we can try that out. And then we've got a summon. It's like a fish run head. <laughs> an, old, an old duke head right there. It's kind of cool. I don't know if it does anything. Like, does it move? <laughs> or do, do you just use it and like let it fall on an enemy? I was a little confused at first because it doesn't like follow you around like most summons. It's a sentry summon. So it just sits here and shoots out projectiles and defends you. So that's a pretty cool one. We don't have too many of those in the game. It's like the Frost Hydra staff or something like that. So let's go run over to our base and buy some bullets so we can test this gun out really quick. Looks pretty simple. It shoots out like some interesting projectiles. It has a chance to release rotten chunks instead of bullets. I mean, it seems like a pretty powerful weapon for this stage of the game. I mean, these are all probably Devourer of Gods viable weapons. So that was the Acid Rain event from the Calamity 1.4.4 update. It looks super fun. I had a great time playing against Old Duke. We'll definitely have to do a 100% legit fight against him in the Magnus the Mage playthrough on death mode. That's going to be a ton of fun. Definitely check out that playthrough if you're interested. We've got a little ways to go before we can start fighting the old Duke though, but we'll get there. 1.4.4 update looks super awesome, so I'm going to keep exploring and seeing what things have changed, and I'll put out some videos showing those off to you guys once when I find them. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.